hello associates welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'll be sharing my experience of uh, tech track exam uh, last time i gave the exam in may cycle so i cleared mcq and uh, i appeared for the hands on so i get frequently asked how is the hands on exam what is the instructions and all so in this video i will be clearing all the doubts and i will be answering all the questions uh, to the best of my knowledge whatever i know everything i will be trying to put in this video so watch a complete video carefully okay so we'll start with the general instructions for hands on so people will be often asking that if the exam will be happening in um, ion centers which will be the exam centers so hands on exam it will be happening in tcs offices only so whatever is your location for example you are from hyderabad bangalore which whichever is your base branch it will be happening there uh, then coming back to the uh, asset on which you will be giving the exam so if you are using a client laptop it won't be allowed to give the exam you will be needing a tcs asset so in your project if you are using a tcs laptop uh, they will allow you to use that laptop to give the hands on exam if you don't have a tcs laptop they will provide you a system and they will provide your desktop uh, on that uh, platform you can give your exam next important point is the signing of attendance sheet so this wings team it will be very strict when you are giving the hands on exam they will be tracking everything so when you sign the attendance sheet there will be in time and out time so that will be recorded also swiping id card so when you uh, you enter the office and then uh, also when you will be entering the adc in which uh, systems will be there the, there also you have to strategically do time in and time out you have to swipe your cards accordingly so that time they will also be checking the wings team they will be checking this time also so make sure you do it correctly next is when you are inside the when you are on the your system so everything formalities are done signing attendance sheet and all you will be on your system so you you have to log in on your ultimatex go to iwall and they will give you a course id so in iwall you will go to that course id uh, when you are inside that course all the instructions will be given there so what to do what not to do all those things will be there so their websites will be given which you may or may not be able to access so in may cycle they allowed you to access the official documentation of informatica and tableau so for tableau it is help.tableau.com and informatica it is like docs.informatica.com on that if it, some information you need you can access that information that uh, freedom we had in may cycle maybe it will be there in november cycle also so the timing for exam will be around 2 hours for 1 1 hour for each uh, tableau and informatica the timing will be basically calculated when you launch your course so inside iwall when you launch the course you will go uh, you will get inside fresco play and in fresco play uh, you will have two options tableau and informatica uh, both exams you will have to give so where i appeared i have given both exams tableau and informatica in 2 hours for this hands on exam whatever course id they have given it will be temporary only for that exam so that uh, servers might be slower so it will take time for you to load the exam so lot of time gets wasted in loading the exam even i gave the even when i gave exam i launched in for uh, first i launched tableau so it took more than 5 to 10 minutes for all the associates sitting in our uh, exam center like TCS office so the systems are very slow over there so you will get around 50 to 60 minutes for each tab and informatica and when the exam will be launched inside uh, the fresco play so you have to follow all the rules like uh, when you gave your prerequisite hands on so like do not click on the x or submit button otherwise your exam will be submitted and you cannot give another attempt so make sure you follow that so coming to the hands on part like what kind of questions we were asked in tableau and informatica so first uh, all of us launched the tableau exam 
so tableau exam it was uh, kind of similar like prerequisite but with a much much harder level not like in um, prerequisite it was very simple just create a bar chart make uh, put the colors in marks that is very simple but in exam it will be very hard you have to apply a lot of filters you have to create calculated fields it will be harder in the exam and due to the complexity of the charts in tableau i, f I found it personally more relatively harder than in informatica so in hands on you will have to create around 3 to 4 charts uh, same amount as your prerequisite exam some charts i have listed i i think they will be important maybe some of them appeared in the last exam like side by side bar chart dual axis chart and side by side circles so do some practice with different data sets for these charts next definitely in exam you will be asked to create calculated fields so you will be given sales and other amounts and they will ask you to create a new field uh, calculate the profit so you should know the all the formulas basic formulas to calculate profit and all so calculated fields is also important topic so learn some basic formulas inside tableau how to create those calculated fields then coming to the informatica part same as your prerequisite in fresco blade will be launched same interface no changes you will be given a pdf document in which all the questions will be given same as prerequisite but with a more harder level same as prerequisite oracle sql will be used you have to create tables in oracle sql so after you have made all your connections in uh, informatica you will ask to uh, create three four different transformations so first was doing the cleaning data table operation so you will be given some table and it will be asked some unnecessary if there are any columns which are not needed they will ask you to drop it then uh, maybe concatenating first name and last name similarly like this questions may be asked so after loading this first table other three other transformations to be asked Uh, so you have to load data into three different tables so one of uh, it was categorizing so like in if expression in expression transformation we use the if function so if it is greater than 50 it is high great uh, less than 20 then it is low like that you have to categorize the uh, so these questions to were asked and also for this hands on time management time management is the key so you have very less time so everything you will have to do very fast yeah this is it for the video all the best for your exam everyone hope you are preparing well bye bye